Hey, uh, what's up everybody? So this is Russ with rwgresearch.com. Um, real briefly, I wanted to talk to you guys about the, uh, the Burno meter here and the generator and stuff and also these crazy storms that have been going through. Um, I'm going to start with the storms because I think it's important to inform you guys that I am okay. I do have power. My house is not damaged. Um, there were like just today, there were five tornadoes within... 30 miles of my home, um, really been pretty crazy, but, you know, last year was pretty crazy too with these storms, so I just want to say, uh, I want to get my prayers out to all of you, who anyone who was affected, and uh, I also just want to, uh, you know, just inform you that I'm okay, and I really, um, uh, send my prayers out to those who are, uh, you know, homeless right now, and, uh, and other things, so, it's, uh, one of those experiences, uh, you just gotta you gotta try to move on, and uh, I'm not really too shaken up, you know. It's just uh, everybody else around, none of my family members or anybody, you know. Uh, nothing's too concerning for those people, but uh, there are a lot of people out there right now who are in uh, pretty bad shape. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, if anybody wanted to look, I'm in the southern tip of Indiana, so if you can look around, you can see what's going on. So. Uh, alright, so uh, briefly I wanted to answer a few questions for you guys. Um, one of the things I wanted to answer was the uh, way that this is set up. And um, if you guys haven't seen how this works, there's two pistons in here. One's all the way down in there. And this one just sits against that. And um, when I was doing my testing, alright, this was preliminary testing. Okay, so I wasn't really, you know, full-blown. There's no data. I haven't made any spreadsheets of any information. I was just kind of throwing out there what I learned in the experience I had this thing running. Um, when I get my clear tube, we'll be able to actually physically see everything going on in here. It'll be a little bit easier. But some people were asking me, are you sure that this piston isn't being pushed out as you're filling it? No, it's not. Um, I'm not running enough air uh, into the system to actually force this out. First of all, this solenoid is running backwards, which actually uh, builds up pressure, and there's a, a like a, a restriction here, and this one's when it's open, it's fully open. So actually, when you push stuff through this system, it doesn't even allow it to build up in here and push the piston out because of the restriction coming in. So there, there, this is non-compressed uh, burn rate type situation going on here. When there's gas in here, it's just neutral. There's no compression. And then whenever it's fired, it's um, there's just a regular spark plug here. Okay, and it's fired. So just want to inform you, the testing that I did do, that I do have data of, uh, there was no um, strange things going on there. And uh, Ten Man Power, I believe is his name, left a comment. And uh, he's pretty much dead on with what I think. Um, and when I said compressed air, um, I was, uh, or oxygen or whatever I mentioned, I was actually in, uh, just regular compressed ambient air. But when I say compressed, I mean it's compressed so that I can make it flow through this system. It's not being compressed inside this chamber. So I'm just adding more to the mix. I'm not actually pressurizing anything. So I just want to inform you that. Um... So, uh, again, uh, if you guys can go over to the forums and leave comments, I would much rather appreciate it if you would do it there than on the YouTube because um, me and my YouTube, I don't get to get on YouTube very often, and anytime I get online, it's always on my phone and stuff, and I have a really hard time responding to those comments because they're really hard to maneuver on my phone. Uh, so YouTube and my phone, they don't mix. So just kind of throw that out there. That's why I haven't responded to a whole lot of stuff lately. All right, next... Let's talk about this generator. Um, I will be making a different place to post comments on this generator on the forums. Um, I'll leave all these um, links in the description, but it's going to take me a little bit to update the description. So those of you who watch my videos right away, you're not going to be able to see it. Um, one of the things I'm going to be doing is there was this uh, thingamajigger right here that fits on the end of this exhaust pipe. And I'm just going to make a little attachment so that I can put a port on it and run it back over to my intake. Now, what I, what I wanted to show you what I did here, it's kind of hard to see. And I don't even know where that other plastic part went. Oh, it's over here. 
All right, this particular mounting piece was in here. All right, this was in between the, basically right where this piece is. And what I've done is I've made a manifold. There's There'll be pictures of this manifold on the link in the description over at the forums, but I'll kind of show you what it looks like here. This is basically what it looks like. Um, so, obviously, the carburetor has a hole in it through here. All right, and it goes through the center here. Well, what I've done is taken a piece of aluminum that I had, machined it to where it's got ports. Each one of these ports is actually uh, separate all the way to the top, all the way to the inside. So I can just cap through these. I got four there, um, you know, ionized gases, recycled gases, a hydrogen, and maybe another gas of some sort, uh, an inert gas, or uh, just cap it off. But I, I went ahead and put four ports in there just to have them and they just run directly in the inside. The only reason I'm keeping the carburetor for right now is literally just to use it uh, for the butterfly valve because I still need the butterfly valve and it's got the choke on it and it's, you know all attached here but this all just slides on two bolts so I literally just made this adapter that worked out pretty well for me. So that's it. I'm about ready to head off to work here. I just kinda wanted to give you an update. I will also be doing some modifications to the spark plug Again, I have this coil-on plug adapter. And this spark plug actually fits it, okay? And it just literally just sits on there like that. And then you, well, if I can get it in the picture, it just uh, fits on there like that, and you literally just send it a pulse. Uh, it works pretty much the same way this does, except the magneto on here actually runs off of this uh, magnet right here. Okay, so as it spins, and I don't have it with me at the moment, but as it spins... Um, this magnet passes past a uh, basically a U core right here, which has basically a, a high voltage solenoid wrapped around it. And when you pulse it like that, it, it it's got a ground and then or uh, well yeah I guess it's grounded, but it's also connected to the high voltage potential to the end of your spark plug there. And then uh, yeah, this is your ground. So uh, that's the way that works. And I'm going to be doing one of two things. One, I'm going to be taking a another wire and wrapping it around the high voltage plug that was already there and using it as a feedback signal into either pulse fire pulse fire and or another piece of uh, electronics um, or the other thing I was going to do is literally make a bracket that I could move up and down and then I could hook up a hall sensor and just use my hall sensor as an input um, but I'm trying to stay away from making as many modifications as I can. I want to leave this thing as original as possible. And I want to make it so you guys can just grab some parts and go out and, you know, make this work. Um, this in, in, intake manifold, it may need to be after the carburetor. It may need to be before. Some of the gases may need to be before and some of them may need to be after. Um, here was uh, one of the attempts that I had that was going to be here but I, I didn't have the right stuff with me at the time so I went ahead and redid that uh, but yeah so that's the deal and uh, I got the EPG just kinda sitting up here for not collecting dust on the floor that way um, and one more thing I wanted to mention really quickly um, basically what I wanted to tell you guys is the fact that uh, I'm, I'm trying to do this a little more scientifically I see a lot of videos of people just grabbing a bunch of stuff off uh, they make or off the shelf or just random parts that you don't know what they are and they're slapping it on, a, on an engine and they're running gases to it and they're running off their cell and they don't give you any description, they don't give you any information. It's just, if you don't document what you're doing thoroughly, um, it's not a really good way of doing this because I'm not helping anyone. And the point of doing this and sharing all the information with you guys is to help you. So when I post something and I ask you guys a question and I want you guys to think about it, um, you know, it's not because I, I'm totally lost. I mean, it definitely helps for other opinions. But like I asked you guys about the the burn rate and stuff, and um, you know, I I've done a lot of research on this stuff, and I'm doing these type of tests because I think that they're going to work out the way they work out. And uh, when I ask you guys questions, it's not because I'm lost. So, you know. Post your opinions, that's that's fantastic, but just remember that I'm trying to do this more scientifically so that whenever somebody comes up behind me and says, okay, what did this guy do, um, you know, you can look up the data and you can see what was going on and you can replicate this. So that's the reason behind doing all these little piddly tests and trying to 
you know, uh, figure out what works, what kind of gases work, what don't, what, you know, what burns better, what doesn't. I'm trying to do this in a scientific manner to help everyone else. So if that doesn't make sense to you, let me know. If it does make sense to you, let me know. And that's it. Peace and love. God bless you all. Anyone that's in uh, shandles right now or their home is or they got no power or, you know, God bless you guys. Um, just God bless you guys. I, I, uh, I feel for you. And I really hope that uh, everyone's okay and we can continue on and you guys are, are continue on. And uh, life will go on. Peace out. Thanks for all your support. Have a good day. Leave a comment if you'd like. And I'll see you this weekend. Oh, last but uh, not least, live show again this weekend. I will not be doing it after this weekend for like two weeks. So this weekend you'll want to watch it. Uh, I'm going to be doing some engine work and doing some more burn rate testing. I will not be posting the ionization because I did not have the proper circuit connected correctly. So I want to inform you of that too. The uh, gas gun experimentation will happen this weekend if I get the circuitry finished correctly. So I didn't want to post anything yet because I wasn't quite ready for it. The last tests I did were kind of faulty and didn't want to publish any work yet. So there you go. So I'll see you at the live show. That is rwgresearch.com. Click on the Justin TV link and then there's another link that goes full screen. And uh, the IRC chat, uh, I guess some people had some issues with that on, on the website. Instead of using the Justin TV chat, we're using a new IRC client chat. And uh, it's dedicated to this, and it's all logged. So that way we can go back and read it and review it. And uh, if there's posted links and stuff and you want to see those things, it's all there. It's all on the website. So rwgresearch.com. Click on the Justin TV link. You'll see all the information you need to know there. I believe there's also a newsletter that you can sign up to whenever, you, whenever I go live. You can get onto that as well. So check those things out. I'll put the links in the description. God bless. Have a good day. Be safe. And... Uh, Send prayers to everyone who needs them, all right? Later.